we are back and we are in my wife's 2012 Model S and we got a software update and let's see if that's got fixed. Standard procedure like always. Install now. Double click. And the installation process starts. So let's see what it says after we come back. And here we are back. We're coming to that update now. It's the pin to drive. To increase security, a new setting has been added that allows you to prevent your vehicle from being driven until a four digit pin has been entered. I think that was announced before. And now they have enabled it. I hope that they also have fixed the black drive screen here on that side, which actually shuts down during driving. Uh, maybe they have fixed that at the same time. Or oh, we hope so. We're gonna test that. This is all with the result of that update. So the black screen has been fixed for the 2012 and 2013 models that I was expecting that it actually got fixed pretty fast. So within, let's say, two weeks, they came up with a new update for the software. The difference is they updated also a drive pin. So now the options what you have is actually a secondary two-way authentication. So even when you have your key with, your, with you and you're going in a car, the car opens, then you can drive with the key, you can install a secondary pin and enter a pin number when you activate that with that software so that even when hackers will be allowed to get in your car and crack the key, they still have the secondary authentication with the pin what you determine in order to drive away with the car. So that was the update as well and that addressed immediately that what is now big in the news. So when I just look at my notes here that how that is happening and how did they find out those hackers. Actually what happened to your Model S is that it sends out a signal, a Bluetooth signal permanently in order to detect your key. When it finds your key on a certain distance, then it gets ready to open the car if you have it for an automatic open or present open or, open or it makes it able to open the car. Now how does that happen? Is once uh, the signal has been received from the car to your key, the key is basically answering with another key. And if that key matches to a certain pattern, and that's a 40-bit key, then this will activate to open your car or to present the handles. So now what Hacker found out is it did the following situation. So they went close to a car in order to get the first signal. Then you have to find the owner of that car who has the key to get the second signal. In, so and both signals need to be connected. So when you have both signals then one the signal from the car and the signal from the key in a 40-bit uh, key you have a couple of trillion uh, capabilities or results about what the resulting key would be. So with a method probably brute force they tried to figure out what is the encryption key for that and probably with a high powerful computer they found out what the encryption key for that is so now if they get a certain key sent from the car they apply the encryption and then they know what they have to send back to simulate that will be the, the key of them but now what Tesla already has been addressed is 
the secondary authentication. It's the PIN. So in order to prevent that, you activate the secondary PIN. The only thing what I would have made different is I would make the PIN depending from the GPS location. So currently the PIN is on or off. So you have a secondary key, a secondary PIN or a secondary validation. It's on or off. And you cannot update that depending from the GPS location. What I would have wished for is that I would probably have it in a four scale, on and off. It's on the both edges. In the middle is always off depending from GPS location and always on depending from GPS location. So yet you have a chance and say, yes, if I'm in that neighborhood, I'm going to turn the pin on. Or if I'm at home, I don't turn the pin on. So I'm, I'm at home, my car is in the garage, it's in a gated community, I don't have to turn the pin on because that's home. So, but you might say, I'm at that airport or in a shaky location, then you want to turn the pin on. So, and I would have done it on the GPS location, maybe that's an update later on, because the GPS location is known uh, for rising of the uh, car, uh, suspension rising, uh, and some other functions there. Maybe that comes in as an update later. But, that someone can steal your car, in order to prevent that, once you get the software update with the secondary pin, activate that pin. Once the pin is activated, sure, once you are stepping in your car, you have to type in that four-digit pin, but you are at least protected that nobody can. They can open your car, but they cannot drive away with it. Okay, everything is addressed. Uh, Tesla actually addressed two things in one. They addressed the black screen and they addressed the hacker attack on the cars. That's all. Maybe later, when they do the update with the phone, they are uh, pushing a more powerful pin, maybe a 128-bit or 256-bit key or encryption. That is then quite difficult to uh, figure out what the uh, encryption key is for that. Okay, that's all. Subscribe to the channel and talk to you next time. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.